What's up, everyone? It's Andrew, and today I'm just going to talk through what I think is some of the best cinematic LUTs that you can get online. Cindy Color reached out and asked me if I would be willing to look through some of their assets and presets and make a video on it. So that's what I'm doing here today. Just as a disclaimer, there is no sponsorship. They don't get to see this video beforehand. These are my honest opinions. We're going to jump in here in Resolve. I'm just going to show you kind of what they look like. You saw a couple clips with basically 10 of my favorite you know, let's apply to those at the beginning, but that shot doesn't really show, you know, the full aspect of what they are. So over here, you can see I have 10 of these loaded up. Um, and this is from Cine Colors, Christopher Nolan pack. I love Christopher Nolan's films. So this is right up my, my alley here. They have like 10, uh, LUTs here. And I actually use one of Roger Deakins, uh, in the beginning clips. Roger Deakins is probably the best cinematographer. I think that's ever lived, but he's definitely my favorite. Um, so I'll talk about that too. But essentially they have 10 clips that model um, the films from Christopher Nolan. So they're all labeled accordingly and you can kind of just scroll through and see the effect they have on the image. I mean, I'm just going to drop some on here. Like you look at Dark Knight, uh, this kind of looks uh, similar to what you'd see in the Dark Knight, right? In that film, it's in Chicago is where they shot it. And so it's a lot of industrial type things. And I just feel like this models that really well. It doesn't break any of the colors and it just has a nice look to it. Then you have Dunkirk, which is definitely a lot more of that green look to it. And it just kind of washes over the whole thing. Then you can come over and there's Inception, Interstellar, Oppenheimer. I like a lot. Um, I've actually created my own look based off of Oppenheimer and you can check that link in the description below if you want to buy that. It's pretty cheap. It comes with a full power grade uh, here in DaVinci Resolve a preset as well. This is their Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer LUT, and I really, really like this one. I think it does a great job of representing what Oppenheimer looked like. Anyway, so the cool thing about these are they're kind of like finishing LUTs. So essentially, once you do your color correction and all your, you know, effects to your image, you can finish the look off with this LUT. And you don't have to worry about it breaking the colors or messing up or coming all the way from, you know, log. It's basically once you convert that to Rex09, you can drop this on top of your color grade and your color correction and uh, get a great cinematic image. So let's just say you were putting us Dunkirk one on here and you liked the whole setup. One of the cool things about having, you know, a look that is all in one LUT is that you can make quick adjustments if you need to. So for instance, I love this green shift, but maybe I want the red in this image to, you know, stay kind of the red that it is before. So like more of this red right here. So all I have to do there is right click, add an, uh, a layer node here. And what I'm going to do is this is the, the LUT and then I'm going to use a qualifier here to just select this area. And so I'll hit toggle this button right here so you can see the selection. And again, you just kind of drag over the area you want. If you drag too much, you're going to grab too much of the image. So uh, just stay on the red area that you want to get. And then come down here and I'm probably gonna, going to um, move some of the saturation around um, and soften that a little bit. Um, I might want a little bit more of that in there. Just make these little adjustments here. Um, and then even like the color itself, you can expand it a little bit and that goes quite a ways there. We can definitely soften that. I think you can clean up the black clip a little bit so that there's not so much overlaying and add a little bit of blur. So anyway, all right. So what we're doing there is we're just qualifying that and we're telling Resolve to leave the red alone. So if you can toggle that on and off, you can see that this is just the LUT and it's affecting the entirety of the image, including that red. But then you can have the qualifier highlight the red and keep that outside of the the LUT edit itself. Okay, so then I also picked out the Roger Deakins one. I feel like it has a really uh, cool look to it. It kind of drops exposure and just kind of brings more muted color tones to the image itself. I just wanted to show you real fast those specific LUTs. Again, you'd have to take them into each clip and find out if, you know, which one looks good for you. But I really like the idea of using finishing LUTs to create a cinematic grade because you can do that a lot on your own, but to be able to kind of have that finishing touch where it just creates this overarching overall grade that just covers the whole film or the whole project. It's 
awesome to use. And so I would suggest taking a look at Cinecolor and looking through their catalog. They have those cinematic LUTs that I showed you, but they also have a lot of uh, other LUTs for mastering and primaries, even skin enhancement. And then they have log conversion LUTs. So if you shoot in C-Log or S-Log, they have a lot of conversion LUTs there too, as well as, you know, more effects uh, driven presets or assets like film grain and things like that. Really enjoyed looking through their catalog. Again, this is not a sponsored video. They don't get to see anything that I'm saying. Um, I didn't have to make this video if I didn't like this stuff, but I really enjoyed using it. I felt like it has a lot of quality to it. So take a look at it. You can use the link in the description below and that'll give me a little kickback as an affiliate link but also you can get 15% off. That discount is below as well. Hopefully that's helpful. Let me know down in the comments, uh, what is your favorite LUT to use and where did you get it? Because I would love to check that out and I will see you guys in the next one.